PLP Network presents Bread Magazine with our special guest, Jeff Baylock. Make sure you tell everybody um, a little bit about yourself and what you got going on. All right. So my name is Jeffrey Baylock. I am a Chicago entertainer in the arts of stand-up comedy and photography here in Chicago, Illinois. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a young, inspiring actor, comedian, entrepreneur in the game for about eight years. And what I got going on so far is to try to use my business sense to rub elbows with comedy clubs across not just Chicago, but in other states to promote my no chill style shows. Okay. Um, tell everybody a little bit about um, what character you're playing in the new web series, Evanize Me, and have you been um, acting in anything else or are you just, been, or is this your first um, acting role? Sure thing. Um, I've been acting since 2016. I started on the season Empire, all of season two, all of season one and season two. And from there, I've been doing a lot of independent roles, um, skits and just some, some everywhere. Um, as far as Ebonize Me Project, I play Leo, which is Ebony Archer, who is the star of, the sh of this series, her fiance. Um, uh, he, he's quite the character. He's what, what you want to say, your uh, typical light skinnedness, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is sad because we, we try to promote that black man don't cheat, but this dude is just ruthless with his cheating. And um, it, it's, a, it, it's a very tough role for me. But as I continue acting and learn more about the character, the more I can fit into it and play the best that I can be. So. Um, so tell everybody, um, how did you get into acting and how did you get into um, comedy? All right. So with acting, um, it, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Michael David Hammond. Um, shout out to him, my classmate from high school. He has been all over Empire, Chicago PD, The Reawakening. He's been all over the place. And he always told me since school that I was always acting a fool. You might as well try your best to get seen and get on stage and uh, just, you know, just rub elbows with the right people and see what you can do. And with the acting so far, um, I haven't taken any classes yet or had any formal training. I'm just what people will call a natural. I just go after it. And if I need direction, um, I accept all criticism and I just go for it. Um, as far as comedy goes, I've been doing comedy for eight years, and it all started with uh, me being in college because I was never the funny guy. So I kind of like got dared to do it, and it got to the point where I went to an open mic, and they gave me a lot of time. So I used that time to just roast people and not really do any jokes. But eventually I ran into a Chicago comedian that, liked my voice and liked my, my hard work and determination. And he kind of gave me, showed me the ropes on how to do comedy. And eight years later, I've been doing it. So um, what was your experience like um, being on Empire and how did that come about? So once again, like I said, Michael David Hammond, he, uh, he put me on. Um, and then from there, I met a person, James Gordon. Uh, shout out to James Gordon. A member of the Ad Pack uh, Elite of Actors Guild. Um, those hours was very, very long. Um, some people that be doing indie, independent films, they'll act like six, maybe eight hours, and then they'll be wrapped. Now with Empire, we're talking about 15, 16 hours, and you take a power nap, and then you gotta do it again. So it was long hours but it was worth it in the end, even though some parts on Empire, I was only seen for like three seconds, but by showing that dedication and not letting that um, discourage me because to do pretty much 30 hours split between two days and you're only seen for three seconds can be discouraging, but you don't give up. You keep rubbing elbows with people and eventually I had got stand-in roles, uh, speaking roles and 
behind the scenes stuff. So it's all about what the work you put in, the, the right people you meet. That's what's up. Um, so who have, has the pandemic um, affected you in your career at all or has it made it better? So I tell people that this pandemic was a blessing and a curse, but more on the blessing side, because even though the pandemic has stopped my comedy, I was blessed enough to have other talents as far as photography, acting, and, um, and, and you know, writing skills to do skits and everything. So I always had different hustles just in case if one fails, then everything else got to pick up the weight. So I was blessed with that. Um, so to answer your question in its entirety, it has been a full blast blessing. And, and you know, I just thank the man upstairs for all these opportunities. Even this one right now as we speak. Well, we're definitely glad to have you here with Bread Magazine. Um, you'll be getting the link in a couple of days, and then it will also go up on YouTube and Bread TV. Um, so we definitely um, you know, just make sure you share with her, tell all your friends and everybody to hit us up so we can do an exclusive interview. Um, we're definitely glad to have you on here. So once again, we have our special guest, Jeff Baylock, and tell everybody um, up here your links and how everybody can get in contact with you. Sure thing. So you can actually follow me on all social media networks under Jeff Baylock, J-E-F-F-B-A-Y-L-O-C-K. Yeah, I don't do the whole super names and stuff like that. That's my name. You can actually, matter of fact, Google did such an amazing mm -hmm. job that you can actually type my name in the Google search engine and it can pop up whatever you need from Instagram all the way to Snapchat. Well, y'all heard it first exclusively here with Mr. Jeff Baylock from the web series Ebenezer P. Leo Roberts. And we're glad that you could be a part of Bread Magazine, and we hope to talk to you soon. Most definitely. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless, and you have yourself a good night.